Hey everyone, I wanted to do the Strope Advanced Trial with a True Earth team yesterday, but IRL stuff happened and uh, I had a lot of other errands to run, so I didn't get to do it. However, that doesn't mean I scrapped the idea. So today we are looking at an actual Earth team. I waited for this until yesterday to EX plus 3 my Shinju. She is EX plus 3 now. And yeah, this is the team we'll be going for. Like I mentioned, full Earth team and Kasumi on the Discord server or Riku, as he's calling game, built me a Tulian. The gearing, yeah, looks, oh yeah, he did, he did it the good way. <laughs> Funnily enough, his uh, STMR is not run through item world. I'll show you mine and it's not better. Trust me, <laughs> whether you haven't run it at all or whether you have mine, it does not matter. But this looks pretty good, pretty good. Yep. 380. Funnily enough, he didn't run his <laughs> weapon through item world and has higher attack percentage than I do. Only 275. Three, 25, it's all looking very good for Tulin. Tulin isn't even the main main spotlight in this, <laughs> truth be told. So yeah, my gearing. Um, Maeve, same as in the last video I did on Stropa. Nothing here. Uh, Roka, literally just Seraph stuff, Blizzard Orb for Death Immunity, Moogle Charm, and a Passive Provoke Vision Card. Diverti, lots of LB fill. I just realized he actually has an LB fill ability in Brave Shift, so that was necessary. Uh, uses the Trails card uh, for mainly magic points, because he's struggling with this. Uh, this is his build. I forgot to run his STMR for Item World. Apparently, I was slacking a lot, even though I did 500,000 uh, Item World points, but yeah, I guess I was just really unlucky with my item world rolls. Anyway, that's the gear. I also gave him Spira's Ray of Light to increase chain acceleration, champ chain ramp up, so we deal more damage quickly, or more quickly. And yeah, he's gonna evoke damage this. I uh, actually, as you can see, his magic and spirit are super low. Reason is, eh, come on, it's the Verdi. Like, I'm, am I gonna waste, even though I have an abundance of magic and spirit and attack pots, etc., etc., I'm still not gonna spend them on Diverti. Same applies to his limit burst. I did not level his limit burst, and I will certainly not do so ever. All right, next up, Tulian. Uh, mine built pretty much the same. I, I had to have someone with 88% break, so this is going to be my Tulian, which is fine. I gave him that thingy here. Uh, and yeah, this is my uh, Tulian STMR. 5, 10, and 7 attack percentages. Those are the best that I rolled from... Uh, I think I, this was the second weapon I started rolling. And I believe after 150,000 points, I was like, yeah, let's not do this anymore. I have more than enough to run through. So this is where I ended up with. And yeah, these are the abilities. And he's using the Global Exclusive Vision card. And as you can see, I have less than Kasumi in the attack percent department, but I do have 300 stone, 275 LB. So, give and take. And lastly, the star of the show actually here, that is uh, Beach Boy Shinju. Now, sadly, we are not using a Rod and Peril or so. So her damage will be a little bit lower than it usually would be, but that's gonna be fine. This is the gear, the abilities, and because she is naturally very, very good against um, stone enemies, there isn't much you need to do for her 300% stone killer. That is literally enough. As soon as you have her STMR or TMR equipped, you are at 300, so this is literally her fight. And she's using uh, Luis's vision card. All right, let's start. Super easy. And uh, yeah, depending on variants. No, not variants. A test run yielded a turn four victory because I'm waiting for turn four for Tulian, both our Tulians, basically. All right, so Maeve uh, on turn one is going to effective, uh, natural, and wild guard. 
Roka is going to haste three times. Although we don't need to, but there isn't really much to do here. We'll have Devardi just to card assault. Tulian is just going to Jord cringe or cringe. And uh, Shinjo is going to start stacking up. We don't need her hyped up at the beach at all. It is in every single way or form inferior to what um, Roka is going to do for us. So that's nice. So we'll start off with magic boost three times. Riku is also... Ooh, we didn't level his stuff, but that's fine. We don't need it anyway. So let's do this, this, this. And off we go. All right, the uh, LB is almost done too. Nice. It'll be done next turn. All right, let's have my Tulian do healthy ungrip. Three turns, more than enough. I just realized none of us gave Tulian Tai versus STMR. Eh, who cares, honestly. It's Tulian after all. All right, Roka can do Stone Slayer. Yeah, it's four turns, that's perfect. So Stone Slayer and I guess Haste. Maeve just guards, Diverti does whatever. Shinju maximizes her stacks. Let's go. All right. So Roka's SLB is ready, so we'll SLB with Roka. Let's throw the cooldown reduction onto Tulian. Oh, we still need to wait. All right, now, yeah, there we go. Great stuff. So the Riku friend, let's do I'm a true hero, I guess. We don't need to, again. Just saying, we got far better buffs from uh, Roka just now. So let's Brave Shift Diverdi. And he'll just do whatever, basically, because we got better stuff just now. And Myth can just got. Now, for the next turn, which is our burst turn and the kill turn, uh, we need to. Uh, send in Diverti first, but I have a macro that starts off with Diverti, so that's all good. Alright, let's do three SLBs. And the cool thing about Diverti and the reason why he's on the team, he also sets up a field which boosts our physical damage. Sadly, it is only physical, not magical. <sighs> too bad, too bad. Should have been magical too, honestly. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's go. Um, where is it? There it is. Now, Shinju's SLB is rather slow, so you need to go in with everyone else. And boom, there we go. One clean cut. Oh, just a small overkill, only 10%-ish. I believe the boss is 10 billion. Let's see. Ooh, Shinju. Not that strong after all, are you? Or did I forget anything with Shinju? I don't think I did. No. Shinju, Shinju. Almost bested by... Tulian. Well, truth be told, Tulian had the axe and peril and all that stuff. So, but yeah, the Tulians actually carried this fight, huh? Not too bad. Anyway, that was the nerf team. Still beats the hell out of Stropa, that's for sure. But is it viable enough for Dark Visions? I don't think so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little... Well, I don't want to call it a showcase because it clearly wasn't, but the slice of life stuff. Oh, by the way, one thing about Stroh Patrol while I'm at it. Um, there is a chance that the Stroh Patrol on the advanced difficulty when you defeat it 
can drop the stone killer. Not the stone killer plus, but the basic stone killer materia. So if you want to farm it, it's a good way to do it and get more stone killer materia in case you don't want to spend friend points. Um, I mean, go for it. There, uh, if there is a two turn strat, but the two turn strat involves Angela on a gun build. So you need A Angela, B uh, Louise, C you would ideally need either Roka or uh, Ant or Arif. So if you don't have those, yeah, uh, I guess farming this one isn't that that comfortable comfortable but anyway not gonna uh, prolong this video anymore thank you all for watching i hope this was still enjoyable to watch and we'll see each other on thursday for clash of wills see you then bye bye